Good morning. Just spent a night sleeping. <laughs> it's the next day in Scotland and my beautiful boyfriend has made me a, a very lovely cup of tea out of our supplies that we brought with us and some soy milk that I bought last night from the co-op around the corner. We stayed up way too late, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We stayed up till half three. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Naughty musicians. Anyway, we need to go and get our breakfast because the hour of breakfast is going to close at 10, I believe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've got to drink this tea up and get down there. It's a buffet laid on for us because there's so many of us that I was trying to count how many musicians were playing last night. We, they let us have our own big massive room and there were at least 33 musicians all playing together. Uh, anyway, they're going to be having a nosh presently. I've apparently lost my trousers right up now. Okay, feeling a lot more awake after that very nice cup of tea. I can't find my trousers. <laughs> I'm sure they were on the floor next to the bed. Maybe I be tidied them up before we went to bed last night. I found them. Look, I just recognised the pet. How the... Oh, look, that wasn't me. I be must have moved the chair and accidentally scraped them along the floor or something. That's just weird. There, that's me vaguely presentable enough for breakfast with friends. So, when I get back after eating breakfast, that's when I'll have a wash and get dressed properly. Put some clean stuff on. The view is, um, ah, oh, the view is, they can't see the view. One hand sanitised anyway. We've got loads of these sort of hot containers here with food in to help ourselves. Oh, those are all meaty, so that's not the MO one. What have we got in this one? Black pudding, and I don't know what that is. So I'm looking for something veggie. What about this one? Oh, yeah, that looks veggie. That's my little selection so far. There was baked beans, but I really don't like baked beans because I find them too sweet. Uh, but she's gone to get me some veggie sausages, especially. Ivy's going for the meaty feast. These scrambled eggs are really nice, and there was the last bit in the pan as well. You would expect to be dried up, but it's beautiful. Just the right saltiness and creaminess and moist, absolutely lovely. And the tea, I was a bit dubious because it was in a flask ready-made, but really nice as well. Fair play, these super peppery tomatoes are absolutely beautiful. I don't know what they've done to make them so nice, but they're absolutely gorgeous. The veggie sausages have appeared. I'm washing it down with a bit of grapefruit juice. I never buy that to at home, but it's very nice. <laughs> We're being lazy and going in the lift. <laughs> It is now five to one in the afternoon. We are having the most relaxing, pampering time ever so far. So we had our breakfast, as you saw, it was really tasty and everyone was just sort of sitting at individual tables from our own private group that's here at the hotel. We are sort of, you know, nodding and saying hello to people and all that. And having the odd little chit chat here and there. Anyway, so we went back and then we lay down on the bed and just went, Oh my goodness, I could go to sleep right now. Because of course we didn't get very much sleep last night and the night before, neither of us really had enough sleep either. So we just said, should we set the alarm or should we just see how long we sleep for? So we just did the latter. And then uh, I woke up first <laughs> and went and had a, a shower. So I'm all clean. I haven't actually hair dried it. I found the hair dry, but I haven't dried it yet. It's dried naturally. Um, I chatted to Isabel on the phone and I ate drinks. I've been having like sachet coffee that I bought with me actually. There are things here, but I, I preferred my own. And um, a little biscuit <laughs> that I bought from the co-op yesterday. <laughs> and now IB's gone in the bath and I've been learning a bit of Portuguese on my app, believe it or not. And we've just been chatting together. And it's just been really, really pleasant. But what we're gonna do when we're ready is we're gonna head out and explore the local area a little bit before we get straight back into playing. Cause we wanna see what's out there. There's a lovely square outside, like, Reminds me of Spain in a way, it's like a huge 
like plaza <laughs> so I'm desperate to get out and see a bit of that while there's day night and I'm not in a tearing rush to get back and play tunes because I'm sure we'll be doing it after the night anyway so that's all right we'll probably eat in the restaurant here later or somewhere local not quite sure yet but anyway right I'm gonna catch up with you in a bit. I have something very positive to say about this hotel. They have really decent sized mugs in the rooms. I'm ready to go out exploring. I hear the tunes, they're playing already. Oh, it's windy, but it's very pleasant now. It's cold and windy, but it's not too cold. What is that building, I wonder? I think this is a museum because it says River Tweed Salmon Fishing Museum on it. That's a clue. Oh, it's chicken wire. I think we're just gonna take a walk, aren't we? And see what we find. Look at this building here. It's the most beautiful building, but I think it's a betting office. <laughs> oh, I love the heads. They're awesome. They look quite stern though, don't they? It's an estate agent that is. And a betting office. A betting office with a very beautiful doorway. As the cars are driving along, these cobbles, I keep thinking they've got flat tyres, but I don't think they have. I think it's just the noise they make when they drive over these cobbles. Have you seen the cobbles? This is a little bit unusual, isn't it? This is the road. Amazing buildings, aren't they? We're in Kelso, by the way. Uh, you probably know that because it'll be in the title of the video, but I haven't actually said it at any point. This trip is, a, for us, it's like a big group of people with a common interest, which is playing traditional music. Uh, sort of booked en masse, you know, somebody's organised it, so we're like a private party as it were, but we're all staying in our separate rooms, but I haven't really even anything to do with the organising, I've just kind of tagged along. I'm loving this little alleyway here. <laughs> oh, look at this graveyard! There's an uprooted tree there, let's go and have a little look at that. Now I'm out in the fresh air, I'm all excited, looks like somebody's been having a fire here maybe. Oh, maybe not. I can smell smoke though, somebody is. What a beautiful graveyard, these lovely mature trees here swaying in the breeze. The lighting is just absolutely beautiful and the weather's good. You know, it's cold, but it's good. It's nice to be out walking. I think Ibi's doing, dealing with work messages or something. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful churchyard. Hey, there's a big old, uh, is that a cathedral ahead? Hey, Ivy. Look what we found. I'm, I'm overexcited. I can't help myself. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, we need to find out what that is. Oh, stunning. I totally lost my boyfriend now. He's wandered off, got bored with me. You can see in, look. It's massive, like, column -y things in there, look. Look at the detail on that stonework. It's the Abbey, IB tells me. Oh, I'm in love <laughs> with architecture. Well, this yeah. particular one. 12th century. 12th century. I'm glad I've got you here. Well, it's on a plaque. Well, I'm glad I've got you here to read the plaques. Yeah, it's spectacular, isn't it? Imagine what that must have been like when that was. It's so grand. Yeah, absolutely. There's more amazing architecture here. This used to be a school, apparently. It's a community centre now. Look, you can see on the plaque, 1878. Now that's a hinge. Look at that hinge. Oh, that's just gorgeous. You can tell it's been blowing. Loads of sticks come off and they're in the road everywhere. All blowing about. Oof. The people up here seem to be more interested in my cow hat than I'm used to. I'm getting lots of curious stares, but with sort of quizzical looking smiles on their faces as well. We've crossed over the road for the best view yet, in my opinion anyway. What are these leaves doing here? It's the wrong time of year for them, isn't it? I'm having a loving a gate moment. Just do excuse me, but look at this beautiful gate though. 
We've got another interesting building here. I tell you what, we've had a treat for architecture today. Wasn't expecting it. I didn't, well, I didn't have any expectation. As far as I was aware, I was coming to play tunes and whatever would be here would be here. And this particular beauty is St. Andrew's Church. We think this construction here is a bit interesting. It kind of protrudes out, but it's, it's a funny kind of shape. Look, can you see? Curves at the bottom. Very interesting. The wind's not letting up at all. Look at these branches here thrashing about in the wind. IB's just gone down there. IB stands for Invisible Boyfriend. Just in case this is your first time to my channel, he's my real boyfriend and he's really with me, but he doesn't like to be on camera. But ooh, he's uh, found a river. Here we have the Tweed and a very nice bridge too. This bridge is from 1803, my boyfriend's just told me. He's read it. Look at this phenomenon here because of the wind. It's blowing the ripples up. It's like making a bit of a wave and then it's kind of spraying up in the wind as well. It's very interesting. It caught my eye, it did. I'll just pop this here for anybody who wants to freeze frame and read the info. We're going back up now to see what else we can find. We've come back to that big square where we started out now. We're wandering up here now to see what's here. A little cafe by right here, looks very pleasant. Well, lucky us, because we've happened upon yet another visual spectacle, which is Kelso North Parish Church. Oh, I'm being buffeted by the wind. <laughs> it's literally blowing me and the camera. Even IB's photographing this beauty. But the lovely blue sky behind it as well. How rare. They look really different to the Welsh ones. They're very distinctive. We've just backed into a little car park recess here and found a most beautiful view. There seems to be a horse track over the other side of the river. We're walking up another lane and just gonna see where it takes us. I'm just stunned by all the buildings wherever I go. Just so pleasing, it's got a really pleasing roundness to it. just came down those stairs there and we're right by the edge of the river here and it's so choppy because of the wind My boyfriend seems to think this bit is not specifically actually the river, but it's been split. Oh yeah, if you look over there, you can see it's kind of lapping over the edge into another section. Yeah, this is kind of stiller. Maybe it doesn't have a current, but it's certainly rippling with this strong wind. Oh, I'm getting left behind. I'm going up this walkway thingy now. Now that's a cute little pub. What's it called? Red Lion. I like the windows, all individual little panes. There's another rather interesting looking building. Have we seen that one already? I don't yeah. recognise it. I wonder what this one is. It says on it all, doesn't it? Let's go and have a look. Off the square. Hmm. No, it's not called that. Oh, it's got some little breaks in the glass. I wonder if it's not in use. <laughs> another one there look oh, look these look like boards for like composite boards for boarding up those shaped windows I wonder what that's all about oh, it's kind of fenced off at the moment don't know what's going on with that one then I can see some of those boards on the windows yeah I've never seen that before and my boyfriend and I were just saying well I was saying to him that I haven't seen any Gaelic like written like in Wales where we live it's the law everything's got to be in Welsh and in English wherever you go and I have not seen any here. We are hungry, so we've come back to this cafe which is called Seasons and I'm going to pop my mask on and we're going to go inside. Look how thin our glasses will be steamed We're going to sit right here in the window. Lentil soup and a cheese toasty. That's my lunch choice today. I'm gonna dip it in. Mmm. It's a very lentily lentil soup. We've just left there. That was absolutely 
absolutely lovely. We're heading back to the hotel now, actually, with Poppins Cup. I need to buy plasters. These um, waterproof ones are rubbish. It's basically, you know the cold weather? It's made the skin around my fingers like peel off a bit and then every time I'm putting my fingers in my pocket, this is the entrance by the way, um, it's ripping them and so I need to put plasters on but then I can't play the flute with these because it's too slippy. I'm gonna go buy some anyway. Household, maybe it's gonna be here seeing baby food. My immo plaster senses are tingling. I see them. They're by there. I'll grab them now. Yeah, this. Oh, 10 40. Here we are back at the hotel. IB has randomly disappeared, but that's fine. <laughs> this is the one. It's a very big key. Right, now while I've got a minute, let's show you the rest of this room because I haven't shown you the bathroom because every time I've been vlogging in here, it's because I've been in the bathroom. So I thought, right, let's vlog. But of course, then he's in the bathroom, so you can't see the bathroom. Look at all these mirrors! Look, multiple me's! <laughs> oh, I think that's great. Wherever you look, there's like multiple me's. Look, there's some me's, there's a me there, there's a me there. Another me there, there's a me there. I think it's great, I just feel like you've got so much company. Yeah, anyway, right, sorry, I got a bit distracted then. Okay, we have the toilet. Toilet roll. The mirrors. Sink, bath, shower, and that's about it really. I was very glad that they had like this stuff <laughs> because I didn't pack any shampoo or conditioner because we only had cabin luggage, you see. And that complicates bringing any liquid. I just thought they'll probably have it. And if they haven't, I'll just use hot water, but I didn't have to, so it's all right. I'm gonna take this opportunity to plug in a load of my battery chargers, and then we're gonna go down and play some tunes with the people. I don't know if I'll film any of that.
bar the bothy door and merrily to chant. Well, I'm a maiden here within, and you're a fool without singing. Hi ho, the morning dew. Hi ho, the rose and the Follow me, my bonny lass, for I'll be follow you. and shortbread it's just gone 10 o'clock at night we literally had a two-hour dinner break we sat and chatted for ages at the table and we ordered and you saw what i had and just have really really lovely conversations with friends and we're going to go back and play some more tunes now but i'm going to finish the vlog thank you so so much for watching this one if you did like it could you please give it a little like it really helps the channel to grow and i really appreciate that and if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of my stories do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one bye